Hi folks, in this video we're going to be focusing on Logs.io's alerting capabilities. Logs.io provides the ELK stack as an enterprise grade service on the cloud with a set of advanced features that together provide an end to end log analysis platform. One of these features is a powerful alerting mechanism. And in this video, I'll be explaining how it works and how you can use it to get live notifications on events being logged in your environment. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alerts can be created for queries performed in Kibana. In this case, I'm opening a saved search for Apache 504 response errors. To create an alert, I'm going to click this Create Alert button. A new Create Alert dialog opens up, and here we get to configure the settings of the new alert. First of all, we can see that the parameters of the query are already loaded. So Logs.io knows which specific event to trigger an alert for. The next thing we get to set is the severity level. High, medium, which is the default severity level, or low. Next, we're going to give our alert a short name and a more meaningful description. The next thing we need to decide is the time frame in which we want Logs.io to run a check and the number of results that trigger an alert. I'm going to stick with the default five minute setting, select greater than from the second drop down menu and leave the number of entries as is at five. To sum it all up, up until this point, an alert will be triggered if Logs.io identifies more than five Apache 504 events logged within a time frame of five minutes. Moving on, we can decide if we'd like to suppress alerts for a specific time period. This helps us avoid too much alerting noise in our environment. I'm fine with the default settings here, so additional alerts will be suppressed for one hour after an initial alert is triggered. Last but not least, we get to decide how we want to be alerted. You can be alerted via email, but a more interesting option is to use webhooks to integrate with a messaging application. Basically, any app that allows you to use webhooks can be used here, such as Slack, PagerDuty, or HipChat. In this case, we have an alert endpoint already defined for receiving notifications via HipChat but I'm going to add a new endpoint to get alerts via Slack. Clicking this add new endpoint link here, I'm going to select Slack from the drop-down menu. I'm going to give the endpoint a name and a description. I'm then going to add the URL for the Slack webhook. Now, to get this webhook URL, you need to, of course, be a Slack user and access Slack itself to produce the URL. Same goes for other messaging applications. I'm going to click Save, and the new endpoint is saved and added to the alert definitions. That's it. We've configured the what, the when, and the how for receiving alerts from Logs.io via Slack. I'm going to save the alert, and the next time the conditions we defined are met, we'll get a notifications via Slack as requested. All the alerts defined in your system and the endpoints can be viewed and managed via the alerts tab. You can also view a list of all the triggered alerts in your system. Being able to define alerts for logs is a game changer. Log analysis shouldn't be a passive process and deal only with after the fact forensics, but must be a more active process. And Logs.io's alerts helps you stay on top of events instead of being, well, buried by them. Thanks for watching, guys.